Hey guys, this is Ash, and you're watching Writer Gash. So, it's no longer the end of October. We're more than halfway through November, and I'm finally filming my October wrap up slash October wrap up. So I'm not gonna waste your time and get right into the wrap up. The point of October was to get uh, finish reading some of my arcs. And I think I did a great job of it. I read more books than I thought I would. And I'm really happy with how it ended up. My goal was to get one bingo. It could, it didn't have to be like a full house. It just had to be one solid bingo. And I went with the easy version. And I did get that one bingo pretty well, uh, like pretty early on. So I am really happy about that. Now, to talk about the books I've read for this. The first book I read in October was not part of this because it wasn't an arc and I couldn't fit it to the prompts, but it was a book I was personally really, really excited about. It was Desperation and Death by J.D. Robb and I rated it five stars. I love the In Death series and it's just a good, nice, I don't know, boost for me. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I recommend it. It's, it's a fun book. The next book I read was for October and it was for the prompt first in a series. I got this book approved like so late. It wasn't on my original TBR, but it's The Next Worst Thing by Sarah Jane Woodley. It is a small town romance about enemy, it's enemies to lovers, brother's best friend, their best man and little sister set, uh, working on the wedding. And it's a great story. I really loved it. I highly recommend. Also, check out my Instagram for these little cute little Midnight's themed posts I made about these books. Um, I made it about most of the arcs I've read and I really enjoyed doing that because I'm obsessed with Midnight's and these books deserve that attention. So the next book I read was my highly anticipated book and that is the plus one. It is the third book in Maisie Edding's A Brush With Love series. I read A Brush With Love back in March. It's set in Philadelphia where I live and I absolutely love that. Um, the plus one follows, again, enemies to lovers. He's also her brother's best friend. I read so many of the same prompt this month. And there, there is also a wedding and <laughs> kind of the same but very different feel. This one actually does touch serious topics like trauma, mental health, so I think it has a more serious tone to it. I do recommend both of these books and I did read, rate them both four stars. So the next prompt I read for was The Newest Arc and I read Not Your Ex's Hexes for that. Absolutely loved it. It was such a good fun read. It had magic, shenanigans, enemies to lovers and a huge host of fantastic side characters. Absolutely, absolutely recommend it. Gave it five stars and it's part of the Supernatural Singles series. So give it a, re a read. The next book I read was not an arc, but I did count it for one of the prompts. I read it for nonfiction and it is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. McCurdy. And it is uh, basically a biography, completely nonfiction. I don't have much to say. I really did enjoy it, but I am not a nonfiction reader. And I think that's kind of why I went into a real big slump because I don't do nonfiction. But that being said, I still had a really good reading month and I still really did enjoy this book. Gave it a solid four stars. Now, the book I read after that was a cover request. And it was Begin Again by Emma Lord. It was about this girl who goes, who transfers to a new college to surprise her boyfriend. And he transfers out to her community college to surprise her. And now they're stuck there for a semester and trying to navigate life. And it's just a really good, like, again, a really good story. It's got, it's got more to it than the whole it called the premise sounds like and begin again is really an apt title for it 
she really does begin her life again. She starts to live for herself in this book rather than to live for someone else, to live to please everyone around her and really creates her life and gives herself the importance she needs. And I gave this book four stars. The next book I read was a book everyone's talking about and Puppies and Prides was my pick for it. It was a really popular arc on NetGalley. I gave this a three stars. I did like the whole spin on the Pride and Prejudice thing where the whole premise was there is more to people than books. Like, you know, there's more to romance than what you read in the books. You know, Mr. Darcy should not be your end all be all and all of that. But where this book really got me was the nice guy trope. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But it was a three star for me. It was not a bad book by any count, but I did not love, love, love it. But that was all for my wrap up for October. I did hit a huge slump after that. And we're 16 days into November and I have not picked up a book since. I'm hoping I can get out of it. My goal in November is to only read one book. So let's see how that goes. And I will see you on the other side. Ta-ta.